Abdul Malik Al Jaber, you are a business leader and uh, the facilitator of uh, a support network uh, that supports uh, startups in Jordan. Uh, what is your take on the uh, perspectives uh, brought by crowdfunding in this region of the world? Good morning. Be here, and I want to thank uh, Nicola and Emily. Um, because uh, when we were exchanging emails on the session, I was, I was asked to prepare a speech, and this is one of the things I hate the most. So I'm relieved now that I don't have to even look at the speech and share with you um, my point of view without, uh, without reading my speech. Um, Emily mentioned the figures about uh, crowdfunding globally and what's happening and the growth. And by the way, as per uh, the World Bank studies, this year, 2015, it will be almost $38 billion, um, the, the size of uh, crowdfunding globally. Um, still small, but substantial, substantial figures. I'll, I'll talk about the, the MENA region, where I come from, and my activities um, in the ecosystem of uh, startups and entrepreneurship. Uh, cover the, the whole MENA region, including GCC, North Africa, and the uh, uh, Middle East. Um, my background, I, I, come, fa I come from um, the big corporations. The last company I was running um, is, is called Zane. Uh, Zane is the largest uh, telecom operator in the Arab world, um, with a bottom line of about $2 billion. $2 billion. And I've been, for the last uh, 25 years, uh, running uh, big companies, um, almost half of that in the in the telecom industry, and I've always been, while in the corporate business, I've been always a strong believer that uh, there's something needs to be done in the in the MENA region, because if you look at the demography uh, in the MENA region, 70% um, of the population um, is uh, below 34. So you're talking about almost uh, 300 million young um, men and women in the MENA region. Um, and if we zoom and look closer at the MENA region um, and look at the uh, unemployment figures and look at the problems that uh, unfortunately exist these days in countries like Syria or, or Yemen or Iraq, it even becomes uh, more urgent, uh, more urgent, and more problem, but more problematic. Um, I think the MENA region is divided into two parts. One part um, is the oil-rich countries, uh, and the other part, which is the countries with no oil. And I just came from Jeddah in Saudi Arabia, where we had the Tik Tour Arabia organized um, in Jeddah by an amazing um, university in, in Jeddah called the King Abdelaziz University of Science and Technology. Um, it's it's a, a 20, 30 billion uh, dollar facility. It's huge. Um, and uh, we had uh, the top 25 um, entrepreneurs from, from the MENA presenting their, their startups. Now, the oil rich countries, um, they don't have an issue of cash. There's plenty of cash. Even now with the oil prices, there is cash. The non-oil countries, um, they, they have a serious problem of cash. There's, there's no money available um, in these countries. Um, the oil-rich countries, the challenges and the motivation. There is no motivation for young local entrepreneurs, like Saudis or Emiratis, to be entrepreneurs. Um, the cash is there. The, the problem is there's no motivation from the local community to enter into this um, era of entrepreneurship, especially entrepreneurship is not, is not luxury, it's, it's hard work. While on the other side of the, of the coin, the non-oil countries, um, there's lots of motivation and desire um, to succeed, lots of talent, but there's no cash. There's no funding available. The access to cash is a, is a big problem. Last year, we did... Um, part of ESQA, which is one of the United Nations agencies, something called commercialization of technology. And we looked at every single country in the Arab world, tried to identify the level of innovation. 
um, in all these Arab countries. And we've seen all of them, we visited all of them, and we had um, uh, you know, startups presenting their innovation. Um, the, number, the number one place that, high, that had the highest level of innovation was Gaza Strip. Gaza Strip has no internet, no water, no electricity, borders closed, everything closed, but yet you had the, the smartest kids in the Arab world. And now, by the way, we see, we see that in Jordan, the most innovative entrepreneurs are from Syria. Uh, so so there is, there is, the reason I'm saying that is there is desire, there is motive, which is very important. Um, and this brings me to the issue of, 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 um, of cash and how to solve the, the, the issue of access to capital. Because crowdfunding, the beautiful thing about crowdfunding, it eliminates the barriers that exist, which enables um, the uh, startups or SMEs to seek funding from anywhere and allows any person to provide funding to anyone um, without limitations, without barriers. We will talk about the, uh, the so-called regulations in a second because I'm one of those who are against, I don't need regulations, um, uh, with the understanding of making it difficult. I, I am for regulations that would make it easy and accessible and um, spread the word and, and, and uh, create um, a, a better uh, ecosystem. But regulation, which basically is driven by financial institutions because they see this as a threat and they want to put restrictions and limitations um, in, the, in the MENA region, 8% only goes to funding SMEs. SMEs represent more than 80% of the economy and only 8% goes to SMEs. So banks are not willing to give money or lend money. Uh, financial institutions are not. And governments, unfortunately, either they don't know how um, or for other reasons, um, there's not really many initiatives that are um, quite uh, active or innovative to address the issue of supporting young entrepreneurs or SMEs in the, in the, in the MENA region. Now, um, since three years ago, I always uh, tell my uh, colleagues, I, I lost my mind and I left the corporate world and I started with my wife, um, uh, one of the first initiatives in the MENA region that supports startups. So we had a seed fund and we had an accelerator, started in Amman and now we are expanding all over the MENA region. We have presence in, in Ramallah, in Amman, in Bahrain, and in Manama, Dubai, and we're still expanding. And the whole concept is based on um, running boot camps um, for entrepreneurs, providing seed funding uh, as well as follow up funding. And now, with the uh, support of the IBAN, um, uh, I'm a strong believer there is um, a major uh, uh, you know, uh, know how that can be transferred from successful practices. Uh, globally and particularly from Europe to the to the MENA region. So IBAN is one of the most successful um, vehicles that do exist about angel investment uh, and, and angel groups in Europe. Uh, with, the with the help of uh, IBAN and the president of IBAN, Candice Johnson, we started creating MBAN, which is the MENA Business Angel Network, that aims at introducing the angel culture to them in the region and creating angel groups in every in every in every country in the region and provide this easy access to to capital and more important than uh, access to capital the whole mentorship concept and supporting these young entrepreneurs um, with access um, to to basically getting contracts and, and signing um, projects because let me be uh, frank uh, unfortunately in the MENA region if you are a startup it's tough if you are an arabic startup it's even worse because if you approach one of these uh, potential customers as an arabic startup uh, rarely you will have a chance to uh, even meet somebody in that organization so our job with this network is to open these doors for these um, uh, young arab uh, entrepreneurs i'll close by um, 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 inviting everybody we are launching um, uh, a crowd initiative that's called crowd arabia uh, which is a platform that will be the platform for shared economy not only crowd lending or crowd giving uh, or equity. There are good initiatives that are specialized like Eureka 
uh, out of Dubai that was just registered in London that's doing a crowd equity. There's a Beehive that's doing a crowd lending, and there's a Flamna that's doing crowd giving for film production. So there are initiatives, um, uh, but these are initiatives that are um, uh, launched recently on on very focused uh, approach. We I think it's about time to have uh, an initiative that uh, sits the floor for shared economy um, in the in the Arab uh, world a crowd lending equity giving as well as um, uh, sharing of uh, different kind of, uh, of, of uh, resources in the MENA region. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um...